talking about urban legends. So, so far, urban legends are very mystical. A lot of people love urban legends because they're very, it reminds them of magic and fantasy. Also, urban legends are very, a lot of them are, a lot of, a lot of them are very horrific, disgusting, entertaining, and very violent. Uh, one that I'm most familiar with, one of the urban legends, is the roommate, which a roommate comes back to their college dorm and finds their roommate dead with the writing on the wall, uh, don't turn on the light. When they turn on the light, they, find, they found out that their um, roommate had been killed, and they said, I told you not to turn on the light. So that really freaked me out. So I'm going to show you, you guys a clip of one of these, the movie of Urban Legends. And uh, I'm going to show you the one about the killer in the back seat, which is an urban legend. So everybody remember to check your back seat before you get into your car. There might be a killer back there ready to stand. No pressure. Hmm. <laughs> you can stand back. <laughs> Sorry.
cause more pain to an individual. Well, the old lady said to the devil that you can call the discourse in people's hearts, but you cannot fix what you have done. And the old and the devil said, well, you're, you are more clever than I am. Many legends and myths remind us of our morals. A lot of people nowadays do not have morals, no offense. A lot of young people, but I believe that morality means a lot in this world. Um, pretty much it's like karma. Any bad negative negativity you put out into the world comes back to you. Um, urban legends are like, remind us if you put a situation out there to be done, then uh, the effects can be detrimental. And uh, anything you put out in the world that's bad, you get back to you. And also, I was talking to an Indian woman from India, and she was telling me how they have big karma in their karma belief in their um, country, and that if you bring negativity, it always comes back to you if you do bad things. So, urban legends have a lot to do with that. Um, let's see. There are effects of, of our actions for our life. Um, well, you know, I was thinking, many people have, uh, you know, there was the, a lot of urban legends uh, are connected to fairy tales, myths, uh, folklore. Um, a lot of them have been passed down from generation to generation, and a lot of them have even our most uh, uh, text, our most recent texts have been come from urban legends. And uh, a lot of urban legends, people assume that urban legends are not real. They assume that that it's non-believable. If it's too good to be true, then it's not true. Um, also, I believe that urban legends have truth in them. Um, I also believe that urban legends are very, they remind us how we began on this earth. They remind us how we leave this earth. They'll, they reflect the gods and goddesses also. And they also remind us that there are things beyond this world that we cannot always explain. And people assume that urban legends are this, just myths, which really can't happen. But I believe that urban legends, until you see one, then it's not a joke. It's not just a thing you would or, or realize to think is a myth. So, Grim Tales. Um, all urban legends are not grim tales. Um, actually, some of them have um, a great ending to them. And it also reminds people that in order, to, sometimes in order to rejoice, you have to feel pain in life. And everything is not going to always go well in life. And bad things happen to good people sometimes, even though you're a good person. But that is reality. And that's what happens in the real world. But all urban legends are not bad. suicide at all. She's gone crazy, but she hasn't decided to do anything to herself yet, which was an urban legend, which they can come in all types of forms, chain letters, threats, whatever. I believe urban legends were once upon a time real. I believe they really existed at some point in time in life. And urban legends really give you insight and wisdom. Uh, you're really it, it really helps people focus on uh, facing, not turning a blind eye to their fear, fears in this world. And also it reminds us that there are heroes as well as monsters in the world. And there are going to be monsters in the world because there are some evil people out there who actually do these things. But we have to remember as human beings not to turn a blind eye to it and to face our fears in life. Uh, no one should ever underestimate an urban legend. Just because you've never seen an urban legend does not mean it hasn't actually happened. Many people assume that because they are urban legends that they're not necessarily true. So, 
Whenever you're faced with an urban legend, you'll remember. <laughs> All right, and that's it. Thank you.